Hi everyone, so today I've created this dramatic makeup look. I hardly ever do this sort of makeup. Um, I only really do it for special occasions and tonight I'm going to a party so I thought what better time to show you than today. I haven't fake tanned at the moment so this look is perfect for all of you guys with pale skin and obviously it would work on other skin tones as well. But if you're struggling to find colours and shades to suit your pale skin then this will hopefully be of help to you. So yeah, I'm gonna get straight on and show you guys how I got this look. So I'm gonna start this look off with It Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Fair. This is the lightest shade, and I'm blending that in with the It Cosmetics Complexion Perfection brush. And to conceal, I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye uh, Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. <laughs> this concealer does everything. Some people prefer to do eyes um, before base layers on looks like this, but I just wanted to do how I normally do it. I don't really like doing my eyes first and then my base. Um, sometimes I go ahead and add a bit more concealer after I've done the eyes, but this stuff's really nice and thick. I'm going to set that into place with the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. Now I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan Contour Powder to do a nice strong contour for this look. And then I'm going to go in with the Bahama Mama bronzer and just bronze up my face. For blush, I'm going to use the NARS powder blush in the shade Dolce Vita. It's a really nice, sort of dark, sort of plummy um, blush. I'm going to highlight with the Balm's Mary Luminizer and I'm using the Body Shop fan brush for this because it just puts it right where you need it. I'm going to do a really nice strong eyebrow for this look so I'm going to use the Benefit Browsings in the shade 3 and I'm using this little brush from Isla which is like their duo end brow and comb brush. So I'm just going to comb them through to start with and then I'm just going to start filling in the inside of my eyebrow and then I'm going to go on to shaping them. I'm then going to set them into place with the Benefit Give Me Brow. So moving on to eyes, the first thing I'm going to do is prime them with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So the first palette I'm going to use today is the Balm's Nude Beach Palette. And I'm going to take the shade Built, which is the one just up here. It's sort of like a shimmery gold, I'd say. But it's quite a subtle gold, which is nice. And this is just going to go all over my eyelid and up into my crease. Then taking the shade Bold, I'm going to put this across sort of like the first half of my eyelid up from my lash line. And then I'm going to blend that up with a clean brush. I'm also going to take the shade underneath. Now I'm going to take Brazen, which is like a really dark brown, and this is going even closer to my lash line. Then on a smaller brush I'm taking the same shade 
and taking this underneath my lash line. Now I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs Gel Eye Crayon and I'm going to put this in my waterline. I haven't done waterline eyeliner in so long, so <laughs> see how this goes. And I'm also going to put it along the top of my lash line. And then I'm going to put a big thick layer of the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Then moving on to lips, I'm going to line them with Rimmel Lip Liner in the shade You're All Mine. And then to finish the look off, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Kim KW. And that is the finished look. So that's the end of the video, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!